Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today I'm discussing a topic that I feel like nobody really would touch because it's just, it's so random. Nobody's talking about Blockbuster anymore. Nobody is probably thinking of this because it's such a random thought that I had during the day. And that was the fact that gaming needs Blockbuster back. It's a company that's been defunct now for a long time, but I feel like the gaming industry as a whole would be forced to improve if this store came back. So let's rewind a little bit. Why should Blockbuster come back? Why would it exist? And why would that benefit us as gamers? Well, I mean, games are really expensive. Games are $70 a pop from a lot of these different companies. And that is an insane amount of money. And I would argue most of the games are not worth that $70, especially when it comes to microtransactions, the fact that games aren't really launching with all the content that they used to. Before, when you bought a game, you got the full game. Now, you're getting, you're spending 70 bucks and you're getting, you know, you're getting the base game, but then if you want all the extra guns and features and skins and things like that, you have to pay extra and that's just ridiculous in my opinion. So, if you're able to rent the game, play it the base part of the game as much as you want, and then if you're done with it, that's great. Congratulations, you saved yourself a ton of money. Another reason is because games are being launched in these horrible states. I mean, they are launched where some of them are barely functioning or they were promised to be one thing and they launch as another. Having a rental service like Blockbuster would completely bypass things like that. Now I understand that Gamefly and there's other online things that exist. Some people have local places, but there isn't that main chain anymore of rental places that you can just go browse in person, look at the games and rent them to see if they're actually what they've said they were supposed to be. Now, again, you could argue, hey, why don't they just wait for reviews? The thing about reviews is they're just an opinion. So even if the game comes out, it's great. Somebody doesn't like it. They put out the review, say it's crap. Now you're just going to think the game's crap. But if you have a place where you can rent it yourself, play it yourself, that's the best way to formulate an opinion is by doing it yourself. But for $70 and you can't return it unless it's a used game from GameStop, that's just, that's not the way to go. You can't just gamble $70 in something that might be an, a broken piece of shit game. And that's another thing. Because these games are non-refundable and you're stuck having to wait for other people's opinions and you're stuck having to wait for the game to come out to see other people play it on Twitch or the like, the games industry can just keep pumping out games that are broken because all those people are gonna be excited by all the marketing go out, buy it, and then be stuck with a steaming pile of shit with nothing they can do about it. Whereas if Blockbuster existed, a bunch of people could rent the game, a bunch of people could try it out, and then if they didn't like it, they wouldn't give any more money to these companies and they would have to improve. They would have to launch games that actually works because a bunch of people are no longer just blindly buying them. They are instead renting them first. Now, you could argue, and there's a lot of different things I'm gonna say you could argue, but you could argue that maybe game demos just need to come back. And some games have game demos, they're getting slightly more popular, at least on Steam, but overall demos don't really exist. They require even more developer time, they require the publisher to do something, which most of the time they're not going to, and even when they do, you are getting a sliced off, highly polished portion of the game that might not be entirely representative of the entire game itself. You could get a demo that could be just amazing. You love the gameplay, you love how it's not glitchy, you love the steady frame rate, you love all these different things about it, and then the actual game comes out, you buy it, and that wasn't really what it was because that demo was highly polished, it was focused on, and it's all a tiny fraction of what the actual game is. And it's also only what they want you to see. Whereas if you were to rent the game from Blockbuster, 
They can't stop you. They can't stop where you're going because you have the full copy in hand. Now, you might be thinking that something like this could never happen because the games industry wouldn't want it to happen. They'd lobby against it. They would do everything in their power to stop a company like Blockbuster from coming back and renting games out for all the reasons I listed, because they want people to keep blindly buying their games for $70. However, I would argue that a lot of these game companies would not lobby against it because, get this, they don't make most of their money from those initial sales. They're making a lot of that money from microtransactions. Now, there are other solutions besides bringing back Blockbuster. As much as I want a physical location back that I can wander around for nostalgia's sake because I absolutely loved Blockbuster as a kid, it would make my weekends. Whenever I had a friend coming over and spending the night, I would just love to go to Blockbuster, pick out a couple games, and that would be the weekend, you know? That would be the sleep overnight. It was so much fun to just sink all of our time into like this brand new game. And it was so exciting every time because back then, I mean, yeah, there were some review magazines, but the internet wasn't as big and there weren't as many review sites. So it was more of, I hope this game is good. And there was something fun about that because we weren't just buying the game blindly, we were renting it. So it was fun seeing what kind of game you got. And sometimes they also did have a policy where you could bring the game back early, swap it out for something else if it completely sucked. But just overall, it was fun to blindly jump into things. However, a more realistic solution to this, besides bringing back a physical brick and mortar location, and a much more likely scenario would be to bring back or at least introduce more game trials. Now, EA has game trials if you're signed up for whatever their premium plan is, where you get an hour with the game and you can just kind of see if you like it. That, I would argue, is the best way to go. I don't like the fact that you have to pay for a premium subscription to get access to that for each individual publisher. It would be nice if there was kind of a Netflix of video games. Maybe that'll exist in the future. I mean, Microsoft has Game Pass that's kind of like that, so you could argue that that's the solution. However, not all games are on there. Not all games are on Game Pass. Not all games are made by EA, thank God. So there's not that solution for every single video game, and I feel like that every publisher should have that hour game trial to go along with it. Especially, now, I would argue that not all indie games have to do this. I would argue all $70 AAA titles should have that one hour game trial because if they really believe in their product, they really believe that their game is worth that $70, they would know that an hour is not even close to being able to scratch the surface of that game and it will just give you a general feeling of it and that feeling within that first hour should sell you on a game to begin with. If a game takes 15 hours to be good, I'd argue that that game is probably not very good. I know I just pissed off a lot of people but I would say that the first hour should sell you on the game, at least the idea of it. You should know what the game is going to be like for the rest of the timeline of your gameplay experience within that first hour. You should know what the general combat loop is, the general experience is with it. So I feel like giving somebody an hour for AAA $70 game would be the perfect solution without that premium extra. I don't think every single publisher and developer out there should be charging for some premium. We're charging for the trial, unless the trial is, you know, reasonable, couple of bucks, because you could argue, hey, if you were to rent a game from Blockbuster, for instance, that would be like seven bucks, I think, for a couple of days. I don't remember exactly how many days you could rent games for, it's probably down below, but I feel like if you were to charge in that same sort of model, maybe even charge like an arcade where you charge per hour, but then you kind of get dicey because then you could go, oh, well then why ever spend 70 bucks if you could beat a game like that? There's a lot of different caveats, different asterisks to this whole idea, but I feel like some sort of game trial system needs to come back, especially when these game prices are so high and the game quality is so low. For so many of these games that they just hype up they have millions and millions of dollars of marketing behind it, and then they're not, they're instead using that money on marketing instead of actually putting it towards the game experience. So having something like Blockbuster come back or a game trial system would force the game industry to actually send out games that are already 
ready to play, and not broken disasters. It'd be nice to go back to the days where you weren't sold on a lie. That would be nice. I would like the full game again, please. Let me know what you guys think down below if you think a brick and mortar store would even be able to survive on just renting video games alone or even movies. I mean, Redbox kind of killed the need for a blockbuster since you can just go up to one of those things and rent a movie. And you can honestly rent a movie on almost any streaming service. So if they had that sort of thing, do you think that a digital version of that would be helpful for you or would be a great investment for the games industry. Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, please do like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. And as always, have a fantastic day. See everybody. I was so tempted to make this whole video just my memories of Blockbuster. And I'm tempted to still do that at some point, but we'll see.